Hey y'all, Steve here. Hey, my good friend, the Irix guy from the Irix Guy Adventure channel on YouTube, sent me some GoPro Hero 3 footage that he shot using his brand new DJI drone quadcopter. And I've been watching a lot of his videos and I asked him if he would send me some clips. I would like to put them into Final Cut Pro 10 and just do a little bit of testing with it and see how the footage looked. Thanks, Irix guy. I appreciate you sending me this footage. I wanted to show y'all some stuff editing the uh, GoPro Hero 3 footage in Final Cut Pro 10. Today I want to just look at stabilization and we're going to we're going to take a look at some before and after footage of his recent GoPro flight. I'm going to show you the before and let's take a look at that now. This has not had any editing whatsoever. Let's take a look at this footage. Now I want you to pay uh, pay close attention to just the stabilization of the footage. You can see some shake and whatnot. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to experiment and see if we can get some of that shake and smooth some of this footage out. But continue to watch. All right, I have taken this exact piece of footage as it was shot and I have run it through the Final Cut Pro 10 stabilizer feature. So let's take a look at the footage as it has been somewhat stabilized by Final Cut Pro 10. Now on its own, you may not see the dramatic difference that stabilizing this GoPro footage makes. But let's set it up and let's take a look at both clips, one stabilized, one not stabilized. Let's see what the two clips look like together. As you saw, there was a pretty dramatic difference between the two clips. So what happens is when you select a clip that is shaky or jittery, select it, go over here to the right inspector, and up here where it says stabilization, just click that. Final Cut is going to analyze that footage and they are going to stabilize it by scaling the image up. In other words, you're not going to see the full image. And it's going to pull the image. It's going to scale it up to take out some of that shakiness and jitteriness to give you a smoother looking video. Final Cut will also give you different methods. Automatic, inertia cam, smooth cam. I generally find myself just messing with automatic. Final Cut does a good job with that. It's going to give you three sliders, translation smooth, rotation smooth, and scale smooth. You can adjust these and look at your footage to come out with the best possible uh, stabilized footage that you can. So we'll cover those maybe in another video. But I wanted you to see basically what we could do with some raw GoPro footage and just using the standard stabilization feature in Final Cut Pro 10. All right, let me wrap this video up. Let's watch a little bit of the clip that has been stabilized on its own. And what do you know, there's the Irix guy. I want to thank him once again for letting me use his footage. And I will put a link in the uh, description below to the Irish Sky Adventure channel, so y'all need to check him out and subscribe to his channel. Hey, that's it for today. I'm Steve. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you guys in my next video.